Hello everyone, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila. I'm here to do the April 2016 money and luck forecast for the uh, Capricorn. Okay, so um, <clears throat> just to remind you guys, um, please go and subscribe to my Gypsy Tarot channel. That's where a majority of my money uh, readings and some other stuff are going to go up there. Um, and also just to remind you my website is back up and running so if you are interested in purchasing a personalized reading um, definitely go visit my website so I'm just gonna um, go ahead and start shuffling the cards this, this should be a quick five card spread for you um, I'll try not to take too long okay um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and shuffle and we're gonna be looking at the um, April 2016 financial situation for the Capricorn all right so we're going to look at uh, your current situation current found financial foundation um, will money be coming into um, Capricorn's life very soon um, which money opportunities should Capricorn consider more closely? Um, who or what project will bring more money? Uh -oh. And then also um, card number five is the final outcome. All right, I'm going to shuffle these really good because it's funny because I have been getting um, a lot of the same cards. But I think it's because so many people work with computers. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and lay the cards out. <clears throat> Okay, so Capricorn, your first card is the Initiate of Wands, and this is your current financial foundation. Um, this is a very good financial foundation. Um, this is showing that you are, um, you know, not only um, doing well financially, but you're also earning money um, that you're proud of. You're also proud of your career. Um, the Initiate of Wands is a step up. Okay, so you've uh, taken your money and your career to another level. Um, the initiate of wands is maturity and confronting obstacles. So when you have an obstacle, you don't step outside of your character. You know who you are. You don't need to. Okay, and this is really important, um, especially when you're dealing with money, because there are a lot of people that will do anything for money, and this is never a good energy. Okay, so this is about morals and ethics, and this is about you learning and, you know, rising above the obstacles of, you know, risking, you know, your, you know, risking whatever, your karma, you know, your dignity, your self-respect. <laughs> I mean, we all got to have that, right? So, you know, this is a really positive card now. Card number two, um, Capricorn, will money be coming into your life very soon? Now, you did get the death card. So, here's what I want to say. Um, this, I would say yes, okay, because this symbolizes a transformation, um, especially if you especially if you've been having money problems this is about a rebirth and a freedom so you're gonna like reinvent yourself 
okay you're gonna have the freedom and you know money does give you a certain amount of freedom so I would say that yes this this card um, does denote something positive um, and I say that because of the of the other cards surrounding Um, just a little bit more about the death card before I move on because I don't want to make these readings too too long. Um, it indicates a change in your future. Um, sometimes it can indicate a loss or the end of something. But then again, it's a major life event. So this indicates the loss of something, the end of something, the be but the beginning of something new. So for some of you, this means a major event is approaching and will arrive suddenly. Um, and it means you'll lose, some, you'll lose something valuable. But guess what? You're going to gain something. So that's a positive thing. Okay, now card number three is um, money opportunities that you um, need to wish, you need to uh, consider more closely. Um, and you did get the initiate of swords. So I'm seeing a very intelligent man or woman um, in your life. This is a literal person in your life. And um, he's, he's presenting some sort of offer to you and you're reluctant to take it. Okay, you're thinking about it. So he's got, um, he's really intelligent. The Initiate of Swords. Um, he is about maturity and reasoning, and this is really important because um, you would you would be surprised at how um, important it is to be a reasonable person. You know. Um, so this is a really positive card. And, and you know you can trust this person. This person is stable. Um, people that are unreasonable have a tendency to be unstable. I can definitely see a job offer or some sort of opportunity. Um, the initiate is equivalent to, I believe, it, is it the knight? I'm sorry, let me check. No, actually, it's um, the initiate is above the knight. This is um, equivalent to the queen. So, you know, this is pretty high up there. So, definitely this person. Um... Also, just getting some more information from this. This person is also tough and knows how to get things done. So I definitely stick with this person because they're really smart. Um, the card could also um, be you as the literal person. Okay, so literally, I would say, Capricorn, that that means, you know, if it does stand for you, that, you know, you're going to have this boldness and this very, um, whatever job it is, you've got to be very opinionated and you've got to be very tough. Maybe an attorney. Um, card number four is who or what project will bring in more money and you got the four of cups or chalices so the four of cups is is um, really about not appreciating what you have okay 
So you're here. Here's the thing that you got to realize is that, you know, there's a project that you're working on. It seems to be starting off really slow, but I think you should stick with it. You know, even though you haven't had the success that you want, it's coming. Um, the four of cups does at least denote some sort of balance. But it does mean disappointment when comparing reality and expectations. So if you expected to make $20,000 or, you know, if you expected to get more than what you actually got, just appreciate what you got and work with it. And, you know, um, start learning to see the, the forest from the trees, you know. Um, there's a lot, there's a beautiful view that's behind you and you don't even notice it because you're not appreciating it. You know, you're not appreciating all of the blessings that you have. You're more blessed than what you think. Um, your final card, Capricorn, is the Ace of Pentacles. This is a very, very positive sign. If you take everything else that was given to you in the reading, um, this, this shows a new beginning, a new slate, um, things taking shape. So this is a very positive omen to get um, as an outcome. This is the energies, the beginning of the energies, you know, before you have success. So this is a new beginning, um, emotional stability also, financial gain and luck. So you've got a lucky angel on you, uh, Capricorn, this month, um, a lucky card. And so you are destined for a major gain, whether it's financial, emotional or personal. There are blessings waiting for you, but you got to learn to appreciate what you got, okay? Um, if you want a more personalized reading, um, check out my website um, for a live reading, a live personal reading with me, um, done either on the phone or Skype. Um, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope that it helped you. Make sure that you subscribe to both of my channels, Gypsy Tarot, as well as this channel, um, Tarot Queen Jamila. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.